Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. It is late at night. I had a moment to film and I really wanted to see what's in these boxes. They've been accumulating near my door. If you are new here, I am in school right now. It's my capstone term. So pretty much I'm working and then coming home and writing a paper. So it's been really time constraining. And so I haven't been able to really do any puzzles or look at my puzzles. But as you can see, I have had no issue finding time to order puzzles. So this is going to be a haul of things that I got from brands, things that I purchased. I honestly don't even know what's in these boxes. I ordered them so long ago, they've just been sitting there and I don't remember what I ordered. So I'm doing like unboxing style for some and then I do things that I've already like unwrapped and such, but I kind of like watching unboxings. Like I'm a huge person, I'm a huge fan of watching people's like subscription box unboxing. So maybe you're into that, maybe you're not. And I will say this video may not be the best of quality because I'm really just using any spare moment I have to do this video for you guys. So I'm not really gonna do much for close-ups, but I will at least list all the puzzles down below if you wanna check them out. So let's just get into this. I'm gonna make some space and then we will go into the puzzles. Also, I think now, can you see the Oliver? Maybe I'll move these two. We have an Oliver. Hi, buddy. Aw, he's so good. Okay, so the first puzzle I have on top is actually from a subscriber. She sent me some before she was moving, and I absolutely love this image. It's, it is from New York Puzzle Company. It is called Modern Sculpture. It's a thousand pieces. In general, just stating this right the, off the bat, I may not be able to get to pretty much any of these puzzles for at least a month. Just so if you see a puzzle that you want me to do on camera, it's going to be a bit before you see it. Um, but this one looks super fun. Again, it's called Modern Sculpture. And I, one, love the colors of this one. It's very bold, very bright. I have enjoyed New York Puzzle puzzles before and this one just looks really quirky you have two people or not three people looking at this weird sculpture that kind of reminds me of a wine bottle opener i think that's just like my mood right now i could really go for a glass of wine is it too late let me go get a glass of wine i feel like this video is going to be pretty lengthy so you go grab a beverage too we'll both come back and then i'll continue on with this video okay give me a sec all right let's continue on so the next two puzzles were actually sent from the brand if you're part of the facebook group you got a little bit of an insider scoop that Buffalo Kings actually saw my video about them, which is wild. Like, I can't believe they actually reached out to me. They did send me a couple puzzles, and I just think it's cool. Anyways, so the first one is a Charles Osaki puzzle, which you guys know is one of my favorite lines from them. And this one's called Pete's Gambling Hall. And it looks like old school Las Vegas. <laughs> um, so it's just like saloons. It's fun, it's bright and colorful, it's a thousand pieces, and I could see myself loving this one. So I'm excited to do this one eventually. And then this one is from their Amy Stewart collection, and not quite my style, but it still looks really fun. I feel like it's more like fall vibes, or like late summer vibes, because it is a, I don't know what it's called. This one is called Farm Fresh. And it is a, it just reminds me of like a farmer's market or like a farm stand type situation. And it looks really fun. It looks really tricky. Like there's a lot of like little bits inside the puzzle. So definitely a little bit trickier. But hi Oliver. But still I like the colors and I haven't done anything from this line of puzzles from them. Next we have a puzzle that is going to be a part of my sometime in the very far future dream video, which is me trying to do puzzles from all around the world. So I ended up getting a puzzle from Poland, which is called Truffle. At least the brand is called Truffle. And you guys know I love puzzles with baked goods on it. And this one just screamed out to me. It looks super fun. It's just a ton of donuts. What's it actually called though? Oh, donuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the puzzle is called Donuts. It has a ton of different languages on the back. 
And again, this one, I believe they are manufactured in Poland. Let me see on the actual box, is it? Yes, it is. That's pretty cool. So I will do this one again very far in the future. It's 500 pieces. It just looks so fun and happy. Like I could see myself doing this one on like a Saturday. All right, and then this final one looks so fun slash so crazy hard. The brand reached out to me, let me pick out my puzzle. Dave helped with the selection and we ended up with a pirate ship. So this is from the brand Cubic Fun and they are a 3D puzzle brand from Amazon. And so this one is a pirate ship of the Flying Dutchman. And what's cool is that it actually has like LED lights inside of it. It's a 3D puzzle, it looks crazy hard. I feel like it's more like model than puzzle, at least from what I can see from the pictures, but it just looks really fun and I'll do it eventually. Um, it comes with like a little stand. So on here it does say no tools, no gluing. It's an eight as far as complexity and it's supposed to take four construction hours. Dave actually wants to join me when I start doing this one. So this might be like a dual effort. All right, now let's move into the boxes. Let's see, we have anthology. This I believe is something. I know one is New York Puzzle Company and then we have Braintree Puzzles. So let's open my, I think it's February anthology puzzle, which if you are new, it is a winning subscription box that I get every single month. And they did just start launching um, just traditional ribbon cut puzzles for their subscription. I think it's a little bit more extensive because I think it's more pieces, but you do have that option. I do get the whimsical cut, which I want to say is around $20, $25 per month. I'll leave my link down below, just a normal person's referral link but I do believe it gives you a discount. So this is new. They've never included this before, but it's actually the subscriber news. Interesting. So it tells about the puzzle and it tells about, there's a monthly subscriber contest. This comes in just a black box. So you really don't know if you want to be someone who just does the puzzle without looking. They have that option because they also include the picture down at the very bottom of the box. So let me see if I can grab it for you. All right. So I got the little things. So it's called Kite Flight. It's 150 pieces, which I think is the smallest piece count of the anthologies that I've gotten so far. But it looks super cute and fun and springy. It's all these different kites. We have a ladybug, we have some fish, we have um, a butterfly, a couple dragons. Like this is super cute. I love the colors of this. And so far I've been loving the subscription. It's been great to bring to work. I'm sure I would love to bring it when I'm traveling just because it's small and compact. Um, or just like on a day where I just have done a ton of schoolwork and I just need like a moment to veg out. It's been great to do them too. I have redone a couple of them and they're just fun. They're fun and easy. You guys know I love smaller puzzles. So it has been a nice distraction. Uh, next we have a puzzle from Blue Kazoo. I actually purchased this one. I would love to do a video on them in the future. It's actually, I'm thinking the video is going to be like, so here's the thing. Facebook has finally found out that I like puzzles <laughs> because I feel like every single ad is about, first this brand, Blue Kazoo has been on there like crazy, um, but there's been several others that keep popping up as well. So I'd love to do like puzzles I bought because of Facebook type video and I think it'd be fun. So this was the first one where it actually sucked me in. And because I think it said in the ad, like even the bad reviews are good. So I'm excited to try this brand. I've heard about it. I've heard it's fun. Um, have any of you tried it? Let me know. But let's see what I got. All right. It is called Oh, this is from the Across the Continent series, and it's called Train, which is really fun. I remember buying this now. So it's very bright, and orange is actually my favorite color. So seeing this bright orange train is making me really happy. And it is from Blue... Oh, it says Blue Heinz Kazoo. I get it, I get it. Um, but it's called Picture Puzzles. It's a blue kazoo picture puzzle. They have a whole bunch of different lines. I know their like Earth series is really popular. This one called out to me a little bit more. I think I'd have more enjoyment out of something like this versus like Mars, you know? 
Um, but I am curious about the quality of this one. It's a thousand pieces. The box seems really sturdy. Oh, oh I love the colors of that one. It just looks so retro. It's fun. So next we have New York Puzzle Company, which I did purchase because of National Puzzle or International Puzzle Day. They were buy two, get two free. I'm sure I'm not alone when it came to that deal. Um, so I'm excited. I think I bought four, which was restraint. I really had like 10 in my cart, but I ended up getting four. I don't remember which four, so we'll find that together. Um, let's see. Ooh, oh, this is cute. It's a little bit more smudgy than I was expecting. But it's, I like the colors. The, this is from their Dream World collection and it's called Tiger's Bride. That's a weird name for a puzzle. Um, but it is a woman, she has like this red dress on and there's like a tiger with her. So that one, I just like the colors. Again, it's a little bit more blurry than I was expecting. Um, but I think it's just how the imagery, you know, some of their artsy ones are a little bit more blurry or at least like paint strokey. Maybe it's watercolor. That's the word, watercolor. Um, but it's 500 pieces. I think all of them are. I think I got one from the Dream World collection before, but it was dark. It was like a black with a girl in the middle. I remember really enjoying the quality of that one, so I'm excited. All right, next. This one has, oh no, it's not this one. Did I get it? Oh, I did get it. Okay, sorry. I just got super excited. Clearly I forgot what I ordered and uh, I just got really excited about what I ordered. Um, so this one is from their NPR line, which I think is just so fun and quirky. So it's a collection that they did with NPR and it's called Rooftop Relaxation. And we just have like a woman with her dog on top of a very garden like um, rooftop. And it just looks super fun. One that I just got super excited about was actually the a puzzle that was in my very first wish list video back in May when I was doing my channel. It was like my second video or something like that. And this specific and this specific puzzle was on my wish list, and I'm so excited for it. Oh my gosh, it's so fun and weird. Um, so this one is called Mr. Fly, and it's this fly guy who's riding a bicycle while listening to NPR. There's also like this giant snail with pearls and butterfly, it just looks so fun. I love the colors of this one. I'm really excited. It's 500 pieces as well. And I just, I can see myself having a blast with this one. And the last New York puzzle puzzle is this one, which is also 500 pieces, which is from their panoramic line, and it's called Midnight Migration. I think in the picture online, is a lot brighter. So uh, this might be tricky, because there's a lot of dark blue over here that I don't remember seeing, but it looks like it's going to be beautiful when it's put together. You know, it's gonna be one that's really nice to photograph afterwards. So this one, again, 500 pieces, and it's set, it sits within partnership of the Cornell Lab of Omythology which I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's something about birds. So I will be doing this one. All right, so those are the New York Puzzle Company puzzles. And now let's go into this box, which I have no clue what's in it because I ordered it back in December. So this jumbo box is from Braintree Games, which is a brand new puzzle company. I did a video about them before with one of their Christmas puzzles, and they just officially launched their website. So I pre-ordered them back in December. Their website is officially up and running, and I finally got my first order because, again, it was pre-ordered, and mine shipped like the first week of February. Anyways, I'm going to unbox this guy. I think I bought five puzzles, and that's with their straight. I do wish they had more 500 pieces, but that's all right. I don't need more puzzles, as you can see. Um, I also, their pricing is really good, but their shipping is pretty expensive. So uh, their 500 pieces, I want to say is around like $11, and their 1,000 pieces are around like $15. Um, but their shipping can be pricey, but if you do spend $45, you get free shipping. So I ended up just getting enough puzzles to get free shipping. So that's pretty awesome. So I would just say wait until you have enough puzzles that you can save on shipping. So let's open this guy up. Okay, so I did get one thousand piece and four 500 pieces. So the thousand piece one, is so fun. 
Oh wait, it goes this way. Okay. So I'm not gonna go into too much in, in detail about this this brand. Go ahead and check out that video somewhere um, if you want to check it out. But they have like a lot of like extras inside their box, which is crazy for the price point. Um, so I really enjoyed this brand, and I'm so excited to find like another affordable option when it comes to puzzle brands. I mean, affordable is relative, but I really think it's a good price point if you're wanting to buy a new puzzle. So. This is called, let's see, Tropical. Oh my goodness, it kind of reminds me of my um, treetop puzzle from Treeser, but it's all birds versus all the other animals and it looks way brighter. This is just so happy. Uh, next we have this one, which is, I, I know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that puzzle from Remarks. I think it was actually called Tropical which is funny, um, but it had a very similar vibe where it was all triangles and diamonds and each one had like a pattern and that's what this is. Um, I loved that puzzle. I think it was in my top 10 last year. If not, it was like an honorable mention because I love that puzzle. Um, and this one's similar, um, but there's all these different patterns and inside the patterns, it's almost like a kaleidoscope type deal. But 500 pieces look super fun and bright and I feel like one that would just like, I don't know, you could zone out in, you know? Um, next we have this one, which is very colorful. It kind of looks crazy when you look at it on the box. I think it was easier to decipher the different animals on the website. So this one is called Tribal Animals. I don't know if they meant to misspell animals or maybe it's any, any animals. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, either way, it's, it looks like a super fun, bright, puzzle. There are all these like intricate patterns that they end up being different animals. So there's like a cat, there's an owl, there's a lion. Um, so that looks fun. I feel like it's not my favorite so far just for image. Um, I did pick it out. I just don't remember picking it out. So <laughs> I don't know. And then this one is called, let's see, Lockdown. And it is this donut truck and it's in front of this brain tree snack place. Um, and it's, it's weird that it's called lockdown, so I wonder if it's one, like, they made during quarantine. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, anyways. Um, but 500 pieces, looks super cute. And then the final one, which, the final one in this whole video, is called Pink Table. And this one reminds me of, what's that brand, that brand? Um, Puzzle Piecework? I think it's Piecework. Where they have this, this, like, still life type imagery. Um, that's what this one is. It's just like a still life of what I feel like Barbie's dream house would be like if she was a baker. Um, it's just pink and girly and has all these different like baked goods and um, like plates and it just again it's a still life of like a tea set or something like that. Um, this looks super fun. I think this also came in a thousand pieces. I think a I think all the ones actually that I got in 500 pieces were available as a thousand pieces. So if you're more of a larger puzzle fan, then they have that option. Um, but that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to this late night filming of me unboxing all my puzzles. Now I should put them away so Dave isn't shocked when he wakes up. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.